It is the 20th of the 8th, 2011. This is the Fallout Report. Um, starting on EXSKF site, uh, one of Ernie Gunderson's uh, two websites he likes to check every day. Wild Boar, uh, found with 2200 becquerels of radioactive cesium. And uh, the food supply in Japan continues to be contaminated. I'm just going to kind of breeze through these headlines quick. Radioactive manure from cows bought from Fukushima. Now, uh, this is basically a story of them calling bullshit on the the cows were fed uh, radioactive rice hay um, story the government put out saying that this is more widespread than um, what they're saying. High radiation right next to children's swimming pool in Kawasaki City. Just unbelievable. Because they don't want to spend the money to move these people. They all have to become um, scientific experiments. Radioactive beef conundrum. High levels of cesium detected in beef not fed with radioactive rice hay. And basically they're telling a story where um, they encourage the, the beef farmers in the Fukushima prefecture to sell their cows. So their cows are all over the country right now. And uh, they're dealing with that contamination. Uh, here's a story, another baseless rumor. Casetas, how do you say that? In Japan, this summer have been awfully quiet. Cicadas. And uh, this is a story ongoing on um, how the cicadas have been really quiet and they found some mutant cicadas. Here's some pictures, real quick. And uh, how there seems to be an unusual amount of females. But on the bottom of the story uh, here, there's another possibility of why the cicadas are quiet. And that's not good either. It is said in folklore that the summer before a big earthquake hits, it is very quiet without hardly any cicadas. So this could be a precursor of Mother Nature telling us something as well. And Japanese government will lift shipping ban on cows after Fukushima. Uh, hello, radioactive beef again. And um, just the insanity continues. But they've got millions and millions and millions of people to feed. And nothing to feed them but contaminated goods. And this is where they've uh, started that SERI um, decontamination water processing um, simplified active water retrieve and recovery system. And um, let's hope it works half as good as they think it is. Over to uh, Energy News. Some more good news out of here. More from Canada, government, re government researchers plan to test for radiation in U Yukon's local food supply, caribou, and attempt to answer questions by citizens of the contamination going on in Canada and the United States right now. Uh, they now the Canadians now plan on start radiation testing on fish off the British Columbia coast. That's good news. Uh, beats the sniff test we're getting in the Gulf of Mexico here and the no testing we're getting off the Pacific coast. Doctor for Fukushima workers, when going into danger areas, they don't use radiation meters. It's hiding amounts of exposure. Real radiation count is much higher. That is a fact. So again, they can't hide um, what's really going on. And Fukushima worker on camera. The holes and cracks in the ground are terrifying. And again, the ground's cracking below the Fukushima power plant. All three of these reactors have gone China syndrome. And uh, they are reaching into the local water table. And uh, no telling where it goes from here. But that's all I have for you right now. Definitely enjoy while you can. And uh, thanks for your support.